to be a credit card or regular mail order customer and we will explain the rest now back to more savings on the radio shopping show all right welcome back to the radio shopping show one of my favorite interviews that i always do children's theater of elgin thundering 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 into the studio and the reason i say that is because they're doing the music man one of my personal favorites one of my son's personal favorites as well i've got mackie day uh, who plays harold hill as well as carolyn rango marion Liber- marion uh, peru in yes. with me today how are you guys doing welcome Good. to studio 14. thank thanks. you thanks for having we're us we're so happy to be here oh, yeah it's sure well tell me all about now the music man is uh, a favorite and uh, it centers around uh, shyster who actually uh, goes to iowa and tries to uh, get a band together but i think i think he's got an ulterior motive doesn't he oh, and yeah. that's you definitely, <laughs> definitely has an ulterior motive you know really just in there to you know make a quick buck um but yeah i think uh along that way he you know just kind of discovers you know sit a little, clo- a little yeah, closer you get the closer <laughs> you, know, you get the better yeah. you guys to the mic oh gotcha there you yeah, go. yeah okay Is that just, good? yeah he you're, discovers you're good, you know yeah. a little little soft side uh within him i Is think that right? and uh yeah i think it just kind of changes how you know what he normally does throughout uh, his con man yeah, uh, normally, I think Mar- maybe Marion has something to do with that, don't you, Carolyn? Oh. Yeah, no, and I think that's <laughs> like something I really like about this production, especially with direction from Darian um, and then uh, Bishop. Like, they're taking more of an approach where Marion has a little bit more agency, which I think is really mm-hmm. interesting. Um, because like I've seen the movie, I grew up watching the movie, mm-hmm. um, and like Shirley Jones, she's phenomenal and I love her. Oh, yeah. But you know, she's definitely kind of a pushover. Um, and I think it's really interesting, like the direction we're taking, where Marion has more of a gradual approach to this, where it's not so much like he's like following her around and it's creepy, and then all out of, <laughs> of nowhere she's just like, oh, I love this guy. Um, so you know, giving Marion a little bit more of like a personality and a little bit more of like human like yeah. nature to her. So I think that's really nice that we're doing that. So I guess your season of vets was CTE, right? Uh, I've, uh, I've had my fair share yeah. of shows, yeah. Have you? There. I've well, only done one, so. Have you? Okay, yeah. so what shows were you, were you in there, Carolyn? Um, I did Into the Woods uh, two years mm-hmm. ago. I was Cinderella. Yeah. Cinderella. Phenomenal experience, so. And Mackie, how about you? Uh, yeah, I've done Beauty and the Beast. I've done uh, Spelling Bee with them, um, as well as uh, Godspell. Uh, Joseph made Dr. Color Dream Co. A few oh, others. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it's <laughs> racking up now. But uh, yeah, I think this will probably be my uh, my last show with them. Yes, yeah, unfortunately. Show. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. You know, though, what I've had here over the years is I've always had, like, a lot of alum have come back. A lot yeah. of times they help direct and, uh, you oh, know, yeah. do the sets yeah. and stuff like that. So so that, that's a good thing. Uh, what do you like best about the music, man? I know you guys uh, have liked it. Do you like, like, for instance, your cast is a part. How are you playing? You know, Harold Hill. I, I can't, really, I can't picture you, but I guess <laughs> I, I, I guess I can, you know, I, you know, because you're, you're getting the character there. No, yeah, it's... Um it's it's definitely uh, quite the experience. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Closer to the mic. Um, but yeah, uh, no. It's he's very. Uh, I don't know how to put it. I guess very upbeat with himself. Mm-hmm. I feel like there, he he doesn't really show his true feelings and like and emotions unless you know to people who he's had past experiences with or someone who's he's just grown a very strong connection with like uh you know with marion through the throughout the course of the show i think you really start seeing his like deeper motives you know within himself and it's just it's kind of interesting to play a character that really tries to like almost hide who he really is you know throughout the entire show and you know to the very you know last you know few parts where it's like he he feels like he has no choice almost Mm -hmm. But it's 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 a really interesting character, honestly. It's uh, it's a it's really fun. Sounds sounds fun. And I, tell me about your part, uh, uh, Carolyn, playing Marion. That's a that's a great part too. Yeah. And that's one of the key parts. Yes. Because, well, you're a lead, obviously. But I mean, <laughs> I mean, a key part based on what Mackie just said yeah. about uh, you know peeling back, mm-hmm. uh, peeling back the con man in him, uh, showing his softer side. Yeah. No, I, I, it's it's like one of my favorite roles that I've I've been working on. Um, I come from like a classical background. I'm a mm-hmm. piano player and I also play trumpet. Um, so I really love not trombone though. No, not trombone. <laughs> I play trumpet. Um, but I, I've always tried to play trombone, but I'm just not good at it. But um, I come from that background of the music is like the forefront for me. And like one of my favorite parts about Marion is the music that she sings. Like this score is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and like I said, I grew up listening to it and being able to sing "Till There Was You," which is like one of my favorite That's musical favorite theater pieces of all time. Yeah. Um, I love song. the Beatles version. Like grew up mm-hmm. listening to that. Um, it's 
so nice to finally play a female character who's not just a pushover. Like with Cinderella, um, playing her before, it was kind of cut and dry. She's like the fairy tale princess, where Marion has this um, grit to her. And I think she really brings out the best parts of Harold. And I think it's really interesting to have a character in such a golden age musical where women's roles were very much like the side character or exactly. she's just the love interest to such a big part of bringing out who Harold really is and has that power. And oh, yeah. I think it's it's just phenomenal. So, well, both my sons were in the were in the show when they were at Westminster here in Elgin. Mm-hmm. They put it on, and uh, they have both work here now. One is is an on air host in the morning, and the other runs the uh, Redemption Center next door. And they are part of that uh, quartet. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That's what they're part of. And that was of all the plays they had been in, musicals they had been in at Westminster. I think that was one of their favorite. But it was a huge ensemble. Mm-hmm. How oh, big yeah. is how big is your cast this year? Um, it's it's pretty, it's pretty decently big. sized. Yeah. Um, I'd say I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. 70, oh, 70. 70? Okay. Okay, 70. Yeah. 70. Mm-hmm. 70. Yeah, total. And then, as so far as uh, the music now, mm-hmm. do you had, are you you're doing it at ECC? Yes. And uh, do you have the soundtrack, or do you actually have a, uh, a, a regular orchestra pit? We this have time? a pit. We do oh, have do? a pit because you don't yeah. always have a no. orchestra no, pit. Yeah. But this time you do have. Yes. Yeah. Which um, I yeah. No, that, it's, it's that very exciting. To it. During yeah. rehearsal, we do we use tracks here and there because mm-hmm. um, we don't the pits you know still getting together and getting their stuff yeah. um, all situated. Uh, but once we get into the, you know like tech week and stuff, our pits gonna come together mm-hmm. and we're all gonna you know finally have like. A real, music. like a real, real live yes. music, which is what I'm really excited for, because it's yeah. been a while since I've had to have that uh, opportunity. Yeah, yeah, that's a great venue over there too. I oh, know that yeah. you probably said, well, yeah, I know that it goes back, back and forth with Hemmons mm-hmm. and Blizzard Theater. I don't know, do they still call it Blizzard yeah. Theater? Yeah. Do they? Yes. Okay, and uh, but it's, they're both great spaces. Yes, absolutely. And uh, that sort of thing. What are some of your favorite parts in the music, man? And I'll ask you both that oh, question. That's a hard question. Whoever that's a hard. wants to go first. Um. I think, I mean, honestly, one of my favorites is Till There Was You, just because I love singing that song so much. Mm-hmm. And I think, um, like, something that I particularly like, which I've I talked about before, was that we're making it more of Marion making the move, which I think is nice, because you get this idea that he's just been pursuing her the whole time, and it's, you know, very one-sided. And then finally, she has that, like, vulnerability moment where she can take charge and um, that. And then I love Marion the Librarian. That's just, like, oh, yeah. one of my favorite songs in this musical. And I, I think it's really it's fun. Yes, pretty, pretty yes, it yeah. yes, it does. Yes, it does. It's been many years, but if I can remember right, uh, your scene probably starts on the train. Oh, uh, yeah. Still <laughs> start on the train? No, yeah. Tell yeah. me about that scene. I, I was just going to say, uh, you know, we just ran through it the other day. Um, and it is, I was, it's probably one of my favorite moments. Is only just, just, like, you know, to <laughs> keep bouncing yeah, on that train, you know, all the, uh, the the whooshes back and forth from the train stopping and going. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, your it's, old suitcase. It's really fun. <laughs> Everyone's talking, standing up, getting crazy. It's it's really cool. It kind of, it's just like, it's really nice to almost be see what it was like back then, you know, on these trains and how super loud it was here and there. You know, I'm obviously I'm not sure how insanely <laughs> accurate it was, but it's just kind of nice to... Have well, that, t- almost that train locomotive yeah. within the people and how their you know their voices are going and you know keeping up with the tempo of the train. Mm-hmm. Exactly, you know, it takes you back to a time when that was the way that people oh, yeah. got across the country. Oh yeah, no, seriously. And you know before the planes and <laughs> before cars and uh, it were really popular and all all of that as well. So yeah, it, it sounds like you guys have put together a good, great production. Mm-hmm. Again, it's over. This happens. Uh, tell me when it happens. When is the actual production? July fourteenth through sixteenth. Mm-hmm. Um, so that fourteenth, the Friday, mm-hmm. we have a um, seven or seven thirty show, and then Saturday the fifteenth, we have the matinee and then evening performance, and then finally with our last show on Sunday the sixteenth, it's mm-hmm. a matinee. So. And how long has the whole cast, or why? Well, I'm sure you have maybe been doing it a little bit longer, been rehearsing for this. Oh, I don't know. Month, um, month, like and a month and a half. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, about a month and a half. Yeah. Month, so a month and a half. You've yeah. Going through so it. So far, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, the whole cast has, right? So when Pretty much. your dress rehearsal is probably uh, that Friday night, or you're going to have it on the night prior, or will like Friday with, be considered the dress rehearsal, the first performance? Oh, uh, I mean, we'll have tech the week before, yeah, yeah. or that week of. A full week of tech. Um, so that'll be kind of like our dress. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's everything to do with like set and all that. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, putting the pit, the pit in, together. Yeah. yeah. Right. And so. I notice the director isn't here tonight. Who's directing this play? I don't even know. Darian. Darian. Yeah. Darian. Yes. He is. Okay. Just shout out. So, shout out to Darian. So Tell me what he's like. Uh, 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, he can drink um, no, yeah. if you want. No, no he, uh, he's great. I, I love him. His character, his personality is just so fun to work with. <laughs> yeah. He always has, you know, something, something fun and engaging to get you going on. Uh, it, also, just uh, really interesting takes on certain scenes that you really mm -hmm. wouldn't expect. And, yeah. you know, uh, I just love the way he carries his, uh, you know, uh, rehearsal process. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really, it's a real treat, you know, getting to work with him. Yeah. Well, now, D uh, Darian's a director. Who's the choreographer? And this takes a lot of choreography, if I can remember. Oh, the yeah. the yes. blocking. <laughs> a lot of choreography. So tell it's me about lot. that a little bit. Um, so Bailey. Yes. Bailey's our choreographer. I she's think I've had, ba I've had Bailey in the studio. Yeah, she is so much fun. Yeah, no, she's great. Um, yeah. And we, like, me personally, I don't dance a lot in the show. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of the stuff, we've just moved around, and, you know, we're, we're in a lot of scenes, so we try to give a lot of scenes to, um, like, dancing to our um, featured dance ensemble, mm -hmm. who are just incredible. And, but the stuff that we are doing, it's so fun. So like, fun. The, the one song that we really dance in, Shapoopy, it's mm -hmm. such a fun time. Oh, it's yeah. kind of just like a big dance party, um, like a lot of like polka style. And yeah, very, I like, remember. Oh, I can yeah. Yeah. Va vaguely around. remember. Yes. It's oh, yeah. a lot of running around. It's yeah. a it's, real showstopper yes. scene, yes. right? Well, it's, it's like a it? six minute like dancing oh, or yeah, something like that. Super long. Just keeps going. So, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it sounds good. So anyway, uh, I'll answer, ask, ask both of you these questions, Mackie and Carolyn, both mm -hmm. of you. What are your aspirations for the future now? Wow. <laughs> I mean, no, that's a, it's a heavy question. I Honestly, I definitely want to keep doing theater. I think I want to, you know, get into film. I'm hoping, mm -hmm. you know, to launch my career uh, soon. I, I'm, you know, I'm living in Chicago right now. Um, a good place. Looking, you know, yeah, looking for agencies, to, uh, getting my name out there, uh, mm -hmm. voice acting possibly. I'm kind of just leaving my, my, uh, my door, d the door open to pretty mm -hmm. much any opportunity that I can really get my hands on. I think it's kind of just seeing where life takes me, you know. There you go. That's, yeah. a, that's a good policy, especially when you're trying to get into oh, yeah. uh, showbiz, mm -hmm. so to speak. Carolyn, how about you? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm really similar. Uh, I go to North Central in Naperville. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a vocal performance major, and music has just been my entire life. Uh, like I said, I, I started playing piano first. I've been playing for like 16 years at this point. Um, and like right now, I'm really focusing on jazz. My jazz group, Wild Cards, we've had a couple gigs and oh, I really you. love that. Yeah, um, just phenomenal group of people. And I wanna go get my master's in performance. Um, uh, you know, hopefully somewhere in the area. When did you and, receive your bachelor's? Oh, I'm currently, still currently in North in, Central. Undergraduate yeah. at North Central. But, you know, this summer um, I'm doing uh, Carmen, the opera with Northwestern. Mm. So just keeping that same, that door open. And I love performing. And it's, you know, something I really hope I can do as a job. And I really want to teach down the line, too. So just keeping well, it Well, by open. both of your effervescent personalities here <laughs> in the studio, I, I know you guys are going to go a long way. Oh, really. well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Anyway, is there, before we part this, uh, we stop this interview for the day. Is there anybody you'd like to say hello to, or is there anything you'd like to add that maybe I didn't touch on? Oh, we just want to. I like. I really hope to see. Like, if any, you know, if you guys are out there listening, um, coming to the show, like it would just be like mean so much to us. Uh, you oh, know, yes. we've, we've put a lot into this, and so much. It's it's a really unique take on the show. Like, there's a lot that we're doing that's very similar to the movie, mm -hmm. um, and then there's mm -hmm. stuff that's just completely different. And I I really enjoy that because there's no point in doing live performance unless you're putting your own spin on it because um, everyone could just go watch the movie if they wanted to no, so exactly. you know yeah, come absolutely. and see the show and we have a live pit so yay yeah. 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 live so orchestra pit that. this time uh, go ahead it's uh, July 14th 16th Children's Theater of Elgin and Fox Valley Theater Company uh, present uh, The Music Man <laughs> yeah, Meredith Wilson's The Music Man and you've got Friday and Saturday 7.30 performances as well as Saturday and Sunday matinees at 2 o'clock. And uh, like I was saying, the great venue that they're doing it at is the Blizzard Theater, 1700 Spartan Drive in Elgin. And uh, thanks for coming in today. Thank thanks you. Thanks for having us. All righty. All right, I'm going to take a quick break. And then you know where, you, you know, they had, the one thing they asked was they asked where can you get tickets. Go ahead and tell us where you can get, where, where they can buy tickets. Is it CTEE? Yeah, it's their website. Yep, right on the website. Mm -hmm. But I still have some tickets, and I think I'm going to run a special deal on them right now. Uh, so check your texts, uh, all you text people, and uh, you'll be able to see both Mackie Day and Carolyn Durango. Thank you for coming into the studio Yeah, thank you today. so much. Thank you. All righty. We'll go to the break, and then I'll be back with more Radio Shopping Show. You can't beat Stanley's Grill and Craft Bar for great pub food, beer, and specials. Their Royal Slot Room is your destination for gaming, only a few steps away from the bar. Stanley's has a private banquet room with capacity for 75, with its own washrooms, jukebox, pinball, and games. Dine al fresco at Stanley's.